Hey, what's up? This is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. And today is WWDC, and that means you can download Xcode 16. So Xcode 16 is out. This is xcodereleases.com. So this is a super simple site that shows you minimum versions, shows you release dates, shows you version numbers, and you can get access to the release notes. So if we command click on this, we can jump on over to release notes after signing in and you can learn more about this. So if you're excited about stuff like the new predictive code completion, you are going to need a Mac with Apple Silicon and you need 16 gigabytes running Mac OS 15. And guess what? This Mac is Sonoma 14.5, which means I can't use that. So if you wanna use any of the new features in the new Xcode, you're going to have to install Xcode. Uh, sorry, you're going to have to install the latest Mac OS um, 15, which is Sequoia. So Mac OS Sequoia 15, that's a mouthful. All right, so that's how you're going to get access to stuff like that. And there's going to be a ton of things. I haven't had a chance to read through this. I might create a separate video just going through some of this stuff because it looks really interesting. Um, I've only read the first few lines, so that's kind of exciting, but I have it here. So this is Xcode 16 beta, and it looks a little different. What's new in Xcode? Okay. That looks like that's the old what's new feature list. Welcome to Xcode. Um, the nice thing is that I didn't see before that they had a beta flag, but now they have a beta flag, which is kind of nice. And I've just got a simple project open, um, not super functional because I broke it, but this is a little Mac app that I've been working on uh, and I'm redoing how the slides work. So everything is, is broken. Uh, so I can't show that right now, but this is Xcode 16, and there's a bunch of new things. If you want to learn all about that, um, I highly recommend downloading it from Xcode releases, and this is how I do it. So I download from Xcode releases. This will give you the actual link to the developer.apple website. And once you unzip that XIP file that it will download, you can see that down in the bottom corner here. Then I install them side by side. So I have, I think this is the App Store version of Xcode. This is the beta version of Xcode. I like to label them, so I'll just tap on them, rename them uh, before I open them, and then that usually works. I don't think, I think sometimes special characters can be problematic, so I had to take out like spaces and stuff. I'm not sure if these dashes matter. The dashes were in the beta, I think. I think I just added the dash 16, um, but this is typically how I would number something. So if you want to install Xcode side by side, this is a great way to have an older version and then the latest version and then like a beta version. And I do that a lot. I'm going to try and install the Mac OS, um, can't even say it off the top of my head, Mac OS Sequoia 15. That's not, that's not a word that I practice a whole lot. Um, so uh, those large redwood trees is what it's named after. Sequoia trees. Uh, so that one, I think I can install on an SSD, but I haven't tried this in a while. I did this back in 2019 off of an SSD that was a solid state SSD. Hoping I can do that again. If I can, I might make a little video just documenting some of that process so that you can run a beta version of the operating system without trashing your current Mac because I'm deathly afraid of doing that on my main development machine. And Otherwise, I'm going to have to buy a second machine to play with. I don't want to do it on my wife's Mac, so I'd need like um, a cheap Mac <laughs> so, with Apple Silicon. All right, so that's how to get started with Xcode 16.